What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the build. So we are working on the bug today. Um, I got everything, I mean, buttoned up. I got the TH350 in there. I got the drive line short and I got some exhaust run on the car. I got wires relocated, uh, cooler lines and coolant hoses out of the way and zip tied up and put up with brackets. I mean, I got a lot done on the car. Oh, I had to replace the fuel line because the return line from my fuel pump uh, actually from my fuel pressure regulator to my tank had a hole in it. So I replaced that and for the first time since I put the engine in the car and the Phytech on the engine, this car decided it won't start. So I haven't had much time to diagnose it. I've checked all my plugs, all my wires, checked everything and nothing seems to be loose. No broken wires, no melted wires. Um, I have, uh, I think it's crank sensor signal because I got RPM on the handheld when I'm cranking it. Either way, what I've decided is the car probably needs spark plugs because I put a fresh set in when I redid the engine, when I put my cam and heads on there and everything, but the car's been running pig rich because I had open headers and the O2 sensor real close to the end and Phytech hasn't had a chance to learn and it's been running pig rich the entire time that it's run, the whopping two hours of idle time the car has on it. So. I bought some spark plugs. Today we're gonna jump in. We're gonna pull these uh, NGKs I have in and out. Throw some cheapy auto lights in there. Pray that these plugs are fouled. See if we can get the car to start. Cause if we can get it to start, literally all we have to do is idle it in park, fill up the ATF and do our first burnout. So let's get with it. boys about 20 minutes later got all the plugs swapped out here we go no Ugh. all right I have took the cables up that's frustrating pretty sure I have them in here because if I don't I'm gonna be really bummed Yes. Whew. All right. We'll throw the cables on it. Flip the truck around. See what she do. charge for a minute and then we'll try giving it a start all right we've been charging for a while let's see what it does All right. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm gonna kill the truck. Oh, I cannot even explain how freaking stoked I am. This car has started up for me every single time until when well, I was getting ready to drive it last time and it wouldn't start. And I've been racking my brain trying to figure it out and it was plugs. I've never had plugs do that to me before. But it fired up and ran last time I killed it. When I was trying to crank it, it fired, it was cranking and it would fire and then just keep cranking and fire and fire and then it backfired and then it was nothing, just dead. Act like it was no spark. Woo! Oh, I'm so freaking stoked. Somehow it fouled all the plugs. You saw them, they looked pretty nasty. 
And then we're gonna throw the car in park because it's in neutral right now. And uh, we're gonna fill it up with ATF, try and get, you know, try and get the right amount of ATF in here and possibly do our first burnout. Let's see. Ooh. Oh yeah. You guys don't even understand what a relief that is because this car has been fighting me every step of the way. And I knew it was something stupid. Also, I know I need a new battery. Definitely need a new battery. Um, I bought this battery about three-ish years ago for a different project, put it in the truck, it sat. I honestly like never even, I think I started the truck once or twice with this battery in it. And then the battery got thrown in the bug and it's been started a handful of times. So this battery doesn't even get cycled. For three years, it hasn't been cycled. So I'm not surprised it might need a new one. Luckily, it's just a little $55 Walmart special. So we'll go get another one. Heck yeah, let's get freaking with it, boys. Woo! I have no idea what's going on. Oh my gosh. It's just hemorrhaging ATF out everywhere. What in the world? They knocked the other one over too. Come on, stay out of the valve cover. What in the world? Holy crap. Oh. Well, first off, I wasn't in park. I guess I was in first gear. I don't know what the crap's going on. Hope this doesn't catch on fire. Oh. I have never had that happen to me before. Um, I don't know how much that was visible on camera, but it just started hemorrhaging out ATF, out the fill tube. I mean, just, whew. The car was in, I guess, first gear. I had it all the way, I thought it was in park, but I must have had it pulled all the way back into first gear. Um, so it started moving on me. Note to self, next time I will have the rear end jacked up when I'm doing this. That was terrifying. And now I've got ATF everywhere. So I'm gonna have to get some floor dry and all over my engine. Um, well guys, I don't have time to deal with this right now. So I'm gonna go get some floor dry, pour it on our mess. I'm going to uh, get a new battery for the bug and come back when I can come back and keep going with it. But what I figured out is I had the car in first gear, obviously. 
I uh, was filling it up and I guess it just was angry that it was running in first gear with no ATF. So I'm really hoping I didn't burn a clutch or mess anything up. Um, but we're, we threw it in park and we're going to come back and lift it up off the ground next time and go for it again when we get a chance. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, thank you guys for bearing with me through this build process and everything. And I'm really excited because man, I just can't wait to drive this thing. So we got a lot of cleanup to do and uh, a lot of stuff to work through, but we got the car running and that's what's important. So don't forget, even when you're on your third transmission, there's ATF everywhere and you can't get your car to start. Stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.